Hi guys, it's Lee from the Jessers Academy team. If you're looking to get into stargazing or astrophotography but you're not quite sure where to start, I'm here today at Celestron to check out the range of telescopes that Jessers have available. So we have quite a wide range of telescopes available here at Jessops, everything from beginner to uh, advanced enthusiast level. Uh, I'm at the beginning of my journey with, with telescopes, uh, although I do a bit of astrophotography, uh, the telescope side of things is something that's, that's new to myself. So we've got Chris from Celestron, who is an absolute expert in telescopes, and we're gonna start off with the AstroMaster 102. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Chris Swift um, from Celestron. Uh, I'm a business development manager here. Um, just want to talk to you about the AstroMaster 102, um, which is a, a beginner uh, telescope. Uh, in terms of its design, it's a refractor. Um, it's the most traditional uh, type of telescope that you expect to see uh, with the long, uh, thin tube. Um, everything you see here is included in the box. Um, so you get the tripod, uh, the mount, and of course the tube. Um, the tripod is easy to set up uh, out of the box. Um, the mount is very simplistic, uh, so it's called an alt azimuth mount. Um, it means you can move it in any uh, direction you wish. Um, it's very similar to a point and shoot camera in that manner. Um, there's nothing restricting the movement of the telescope. Um, in terms of the tube itself, so the different parts you see here, um, you have a finder scope. Um, so this helps you uh, find objects in the night sky. Um, you've got the eyepiece at the rear. Um, with this particular model, you'll get two eyepieces in the box. Um, depending on what eyepiece you use, um, will change the magnification uh, power of the scope. Um, and in terms of um, its ease of use, so yeah, I definitely recommend this for a beginner. Um, in terms of what you can see, you'll get great views of the moon um, and you'll get some really nice uh, views of uh, Saturn and Jupiter as well. Uh, it's got a really nice large objective, uh, 102 millimeter. Um, so it's great for uh, deeper space objects uh, as well. Uh, so next up is the uh, Celestron PS1000, uh, which is exclusive to Jessops. Um, it's a reflecting telescope, so it uses a series of mirrors inside um, to bring an image to the eyepiece at the front. Um, you'll see that the, the mount is uh, much more complex compared to the AstroMaster we just looked at. Uh, so it's an equatorial or an EQ mount. Uh, it allows you to manually track um, the movement of the stars through the sky uh, as the evening progresses. Um, it allows the telescope to move in an arc fashion um, so you only have to make one adjustment on the mount. Um, so if you're uh, viewing one object, say for example Saturn, uh, through the evening, the EQ mount will make that much easier for you compared to an old azimuth. Uh, in terms of the tripod, so the tripod comes with it, uh, and you've also got uh, a series of three eyepieces uh, to give you different uh, magnifications. Uh, you also get a Barlow lens. Um, so this is a three times Barlow, so it will triple the magnification power of the eyepiece that you're using. Uh, so in theory, the, you've got six eyepieces in this pack. Um, and also you'll receive a moon filter in the box. Um, so for a full moon, uh, it's really bright. Uh, it won't damage your eyes, um, but to see a better contrast, you'd screw the, the moon filter into the, the rear of the eyepiece uh, before you put it into the telescope uh, and it will dim that light down for you. Uh, so you'll be able to enjoy uh, easier views uh, of the moon. This is our uh, Celestron 114 LCM, uh, so another intermediate grade telescope. Uh, the big difference here is in the technology that's in the telescope itself. Um, so one of the key things with astronomy is obviously finding the target in the sky. Uh, the beauty of this product is with the hand controller, uh, after a short setup procedure, um, you'll be able to select uh, from a list of objects uh, and the mount is motorized, um, so the telescope will automatically slew to that object uh, and it'll keep it within the view of the eyepiece as well. Um, so really great if you just want to get straight into the garden and viewing because the telescope does all of the work for you. Uh, so lastly, moving on to our enthusiast range, the Nexstar SE, um, you can easily identify uh, this range with the orange tube. Um, this particular model uh, is a five inch, so the five SE. Um, in terms of the optical system, the step up that you have here uh, versus all of the other telescopes we've looked at is this is a compound telescope 
Uh, so it uses the best parts of both a refracting and a reflecting type telescope. Um, so you get the large aperture, uh, so large light gathering ability, uh, plus you'll also get the large focal lengths uh, that will ultimately give you uh, larger magnifications. Um, the unit itself is fully computerized and motorized. Uh, so once you go through a very short setup procedure, you can then select on the hand controller what you want to look at and the telescope will slew to that and also track it through the night for you. Thank you very much to Chris for that great information on the telescopes there. If you'd like the full specs list, visit jessus.com or one of your local stores. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit like, subscribe, and don't forget the bell icon to get notifications when we upload new videos. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.